Let's try to find the right triangle sides. The question is, the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 29 centimeters. One leg of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the other. Find the lengths of the legs of the triangle. So let's first sketch a right triangle. Let's say this is the right triangle with hypotenuse of 29 centimeters. Now it says one leg of the triangle is one centimeter shorter than the other. So let this be x, the other one will be x minus 1. Now right triangle is the one where we have 90 degrees angle at one vertex. Now we can apply Pythagorean theorem, right? And then we get our equation. So the equation is x square plus x minus 1 whole square equals to 29 square. Now this equation is in single variable x and so we can solve this by combining the x terms and isolating them. So we get x squared plus expanding this we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 29 squared. So let's find what is 29 squared. 29 squared is equals to 841. Now bring all the terms together and then solve. So we get x 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 841 equals to 0. Now, so we get 2x squared minus 2x minus 840 equals to 0. Now we can factor out 2 from here. So we get x squared minus x dividing by 2 we get minus 420 equals to 0. Now this term can be either factored or we can apply quadratic formula to get the answer, right? Now 42, 420 can be factored as 21 times 20, right? 20 times 20 is 400, so we can actually factor it using product and sum. So, so from here I will adopt two methods. First we could factor and if we factor we get 2 times x. We want minus as a bigger term so minus 21 times x plus 20 equals to 0. Now this is equal to 0 if x is equals to plus 21 or minus 20. Now since x is sides of your triangle it has to be positive and therefore the only permitted answer here is x equals to 21. So we'll go with that. If x is 21, that is one leg is 21 centimeters, the other one will be 21 minus 1, which is 20. And x minus 1 equals to 21 minus 1, which is 20. And therefore we get our answer that the sides are, so our answer is The legs are, or the sides are, 20 and 21 centimeter, respectively. The other method was, as I was saying, using quadratic formula. So what we can do is, if we have a quadratic equation, we can always use quadratic formula. So using quadratic formula, we get x equals to minus b, so minus b is minus of minus 1 plus or minus b square which is minus 1 square minus 4 times a, a is 1, c is minus 420 square root divided by 2 times a, a is 1 here. So that is using quadratic formula. Now you can solve this, you get 1 plus or minus Let's find out this using the calculator. So this is square root of 1 and this is 4 times 420. 4 times 420 gives us 1680. So minus minus becomes plus and minus 1 square is 1. So let's first write 1 plus 1680 square root divided by 2 and that gives us 1 plus minus 
1681. Let's find square root of 1681. Square root of 1681 is equal to 41. So we get 1 plus minus 41 over 2. And that gives us two answers. One is, if I use the plus value, then we get 1 plus 41, which is 42. 42 divided by 2 is 21. And the other one is 1 minus 41, which is 40. And 40 divided by 2 is minus 20, right? That is with the negative sign. So we get the same answer as we got earlier. So you could use any of these two methods to get your answer. But the important thing here is, when you have a problem like this, start by making a sketch and defining your variables. So, so when you make your sketch, then define your variables. Let x be one of the sides, right? So let me write that. So let x be one of the side length. Then the other will be x minus 1. And then we used Pythagorean theorem, right? So this is the application of Pythagorean theorem, which is a square plus b square equals to c square, right? So we got our equation, simplify it, and then as you solve quadratic equation, either by factory or by quadratic formula, and get your answer. Don't forget to write the answer with units. So we can say answer is legs are 20 centimeter and 21 centimeter that's it so that is how we can do these kinds of questions i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best